21.7 billion and then 23 you're reacting to what senator escudero said na 23 which was submitted to us by the sct which were all your staff and which i released to the media and you've been going around saying mali numbers namin so kung mali correct it pero ang nagbigay ng numbers sa amin staff mo and you've been going around telling people saan ba namin ang galing eh nang galing nga sa staff mo so anong problema mr chairman ang tinatanong ko per documentation ng DPWH. Ito documentation nila, 21.7. 21.7 plus 3. Hindi DPWH ang sinabmit ko sa media at hindi yun ang sinabi ni Senator Escudero. Actually, ang sinabi ni Senator Escudero, galing sa SCT na mga staff mo. Madam, so uh, what's the issue? Well, actually, Chairman, para nagkakamali ho ata kayo sa presentation. What's the so, issue? Sa phase 3, sa records niya ba, it's 10 billion? Records, well, ng, your, your records to ng me? SCT... Uh, Uh, Senator Binay, that was given to me by the SCT. Who are your staff? Wait, so so what's the problem? No, no, ma'am. Ginugulo mo yung hearing eh. Wala namang kailangang magulo. Yan ang sinabmit sa akin. So kung sasabihin mo mali, eh, de, ano yung tamang number? Yeah, yan, yan po ang sinabmit sa akin. So, galing okay, ng staff mo. Kung usapan natin ngayon, yung, yung side ng DPW. Yes, and ang so, sinusapan namin ni Sex Adain, yung sinabi niyang 5.7 na 7 okay. point something pala. In the proper context. Kasi to be fair to DPWA... Mali nga talaga sinabi niya, hindi 5.7. It yeah, was 7 you point something. You apologize for the 23 no, no, million. No, no, no. You, you're... When, mali yung pakinig mo. When, They, I asked them to apologize for saving, saying it's 5.7 when in fact it was 7 point Mr. something. Mr. Chairman, you're... And, no, no. Listen to can me I first. Can go back? Listen to me first. Makana yung total. Listen to me first, Senator okay. Nanti. I'm still the chair. Chairman. No, no. Ang problema sa'yo, you keep going around saying, gusto ko makausap si Alan, gusto ko makausap si Cheese. Nakita pa tayo sa party, may cellphone. Hindi mo naman kami kinakausap. Tapos mag gugulo ka ngayon sa hearing. Let me continue. I told Seth na pinapalabas na walang 23B. Because, because there's no, no because in total, ayan yung 23B, oh. ayan ang 23B. Ayan ang 23B na submitted ng, ano, ng SCT na yep. staff mo na ikaw nagsabi sa akin na wag kong tanggalin na Mr. ituloy Chairman, ko. So what, what's the context, issue? Anong, anong sinabi nyo? Oh. Ang, pagpata, ang, pag, ang cost ng pagpapatayo ng building ay 23B. Ang sabi ni oh. Senator Escudero, so far, ang total cost ng pagkakaroon ng bagong building ay nasa 23 na. That is At yun po ang binigay sa akin ng SCT na kasama dyan ang cost ng land So ano ang issue? Wala naman issue. 23B talaga sinabmit sa amin. If you want to tell me na mali lahat ng staff mo at may iba kang numbers, you're welcome to submit. But how can you argue with what they submitted to me and how can we argue with what Senator uh, Senate President said? You know, know, because proper context, when yung nag-issue ng statement, ang statement nyo ay from the original core and shell budget of 8.9 billion to a projected completion cost of 23.3 billion and we're talking about the new Senate building project yung may mga component diyan na hindi bahagi nung pagko-construct ng new Senate building we clarify that if you were listening we're clarified during the time of Senator Lacson ang sinabi yung seven floor pataas walang fit out hindi yun, hindi yun. you're proposing that na may not, fit out not, so we will consult the 24 senators kung papayag sila ng additional billions for a fit out So, since nandito ka na rin, can you explain the 600 million na landscaping? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I think dapat ang mag-explain yan ay DPWH because at the moment nga, wala pa yan eh. Dahil nandun pa nga kami sa point na pinag-uusapan namin. Bakit ito? wala pa eh, March 2023 yung sulat sa'yo? Natanggal naman kayo last month lang eh. So, isang taon hindi rin gumalaw during your term. Tapos, sasabihin nyo yung delay na sa amin. Ang sulat sa'yo, March 20, 2023. Because, Mr. Chairman, we're in the process of reviewing everything. So, it takes you more than a year to review everything. Kailan matatapos yung building? Ako, baka hindi ako umabot katulad ni Senator Nili na isang daan taon. And kung ako po ay nagpatuloy ng building, talagang pipilitin natin matapos. Paano ka matatapos kung yung page 3 mo, isang taon na na sa'yo at sinasabi mo ngayon, hindi yan yung numbers kasi hindi mo pa nare-review. March 20, Uh, 2023, it's already July 3, 2024, Senator. 15 months na sa mesa mo. Then you have the gall to tell all of us na yung delay na sa amin. Oh, Mr. Aguinaldo, sabi niyo ko kanina, sana madesisyonan namin kasi baka madelay. Eh, labing limang buwan pala nasa mesa ni Senator Nancy. Oh. Of course not, Mr. Chairman. Hindi, kakaamin mo lang ngayon eh. Sabi mo, wala pa yan, nire-review mo pa. Gaano katagal ba reviewin ang 600 million sa landscaping? Ito, 875 million sa security camps. Baka buong Metro Manila na yan eh. Kung nagbigay ka ng briefing paper sa akin, pag take off, at iba yung binigay ng SCT, di kinausap kita, eto binigay ng SCT. May narinig ka ba hanggang sa akin ngayon? Nagpapa-interview ba ako? Ikaw yung araw-araw nagpapa-interview, di ba? So anong issue? Ang issue kasi, Mr. Chairman. Ang issue yan. Tapos na natin. namin. This is just an SCT. Hindi po, <laughs> estimate yan na pinapapirmahan sa akin na galing sa'yo. Na isang taon na nasa mesa mo. So, Hindi pa yan. 
Siguro balikan natin yung DPWH. Nasa proseso pa tayo na hinihimay natin to. Na in fact, ang target, EMA award na to within, uh, ano ba target natin? So kung labing, labing limang buwan mo hindi hinimay, kailan mo hihimay yan? Labing limang buwan mo hindi hinimay eh. March 20 yan, 2023, sinabmit sa'yo. Nasa akin na. Alam Mr. Nyo, Chairman, hinihimay namin to isa-isa. In fact, well, kaya kami inaabot, project kami manager. Ng, inaabot kami ng 9am hanggang 9 ng gabi. So bakit, bakit hinihimay... nyo nga hindi na hinimay ng labing limang buwan? Ito yung sulat na sa akin, no? March 2020, tapos tinatanong kita ngayon, wala kang masagot sa himay. Oh. Hinihimay na, namin tayo sa para ma-review namin. Ang trabaho ko mag-review. Ang trabaho ko mag-review. Mr. Chairman. So kung gusto nyo tumulong sa review, you're welcome. Kung gusto mo mag-debate, doon tayo sa labas. Sayang oras ng Senado. Mr. Chairman, hindi pa ito nakakuantify ng DPWH. Eh. Nasa hindi pa quantify pa. Sila nag-submit nito eh. Hindi pa quant- quant- Paano walang quantity eh? Sinabi na nga sa'yo. It's an estimate. Kapag ka binid, it is a... Uh, it is, uh, pag binid to, sabi sa'yo, it's 8.5B. I-negotiate mo, it's 7.2B. Binigay sa'yo to, siguro, Mr. 15 Chairman, months. Siguro, Mr. Chairman, natin yung DPWH. With, what's the difference between a budget estimate and a quanti, yung nagka-quantify na tayo ng materyales? Marcos Tolentino, 2025. Uh, but yet, he always makes time for all of the uh, hearings and uh, has been here, has been going uh, out but been going back to his office periodically during the break. Thank you very much, Senator Tolentino. Of course po, yung uh, napakasipag, uh, isa sa mga best in attendance at sunod-sunod. Ka, mahirap kumuha ng kwarto dito dahil parating may hearing si Senator Padilla. Thank you very much, Senator, for your service. DPWH, uh, I'm sad not to see your secretary but I know kayo naman mga uh, in charge. Uh, so, uh, very grateful, uh, Yusek Sadayin. You're a good soldier. I know naipit yung request ko sa office ni secretary pero hindi mo siya pinagbibintangan. You took the flak for him. So, but uh, siguro notice lang sa office ni secretary kung ang senador nagbigay ng notice and it took you one week bago ilipat yung request sa isang opisina. What more if it's an ordinary barangay captain mayor? Baka we have to update our systems. And you, sec, pasensya na po. I just have to mention this. Wala ba kayong flash drive? <laughs> C- CD ang binigay nyo sa amin. Hanggang alauna ng umaga, naglilipat kami ng documents dahil mabagal na yung CD. Or yun talaga ang gamit pa sa DP? Ha? Yung pa ba? L- lagyan nyo na ng budget ang pambili ng computer na may flash drive. Ano ang may specific reason why why CD pa yung ginagamit natin. Ang problema kasi kami, karamihan dito, hindi na CD, tapos kumakahanap man ng CD, medyo mabagal talaga. Having said that, so let, let me start lang with, uh, ano, saan yung ating? With a short presentation, just so that very, very clear yung objectives natin. No? Uh, then, then I'll ask the two senators kung meron silang opening statement. Sarap. Okay. So, Jeremiah po ay isang propeta na kinikilala ng Hudyo, ng Muslim, at saka ng Kristiyano. So we can agree. And he said that, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in a future. At mga akmayan, kasi ang focus natin today is tatlo. Plano, uh, vis-a-vis the cost, the time, vis-a-vis yung resulta. Diba? So let's go to the next slide. Guide lang po to sa atin lahat, then we'll give DPWH uh, all its uh, all the time. Yung sa new Senate po kasi, from the inception, whether we talk about Senator Gachalian, Senator Lacson, if there were people before them who espoused having our own building, ang idea kasi is to have an iconic na functional. May mga I- iconic or monuments pero hindi functional. May functional pero hindi iconic. I think Malacanang is a example na iconic pero uh, functional, especially when it was first made. Medyo ahead of its time din siya. Hanggang ngayon, ginagamit, di ba? Pero ang gusto natin, best quality at minimal cost. A symbol of people's voice, the people's voice, or of democracy. What do I mean by this? Siyempre, pag masyado mataas ang presyo, uh, there are some who are saying bakit sinisiraan. Senate President, myself, no one has said na may irregularity, may anomalya. What we're saying is nagulat kami sa presyo. Kasi kung hindi natin ma-explain yung tamang presyo, imbis na magiging proud ang tao sa bagong building, baka kasuklaman nila, eh, di ba? So that's why we're reviewing this. Next slide. So, um, when Senate President asked me to do a review, very clear din siya, no delays, no further delays, and set a completion date and the cost of the iconic and functional new Senate building that we can be proud of. Bakit po? So far kasi moving target eh. 
you can dispute me later, Yusek, or kung sino yung present uh, project manager. No? Next slide. So, it's very important to us when we exercise oversight. So, whether tinutulig sa namin, bakit late na naman yung subway, or sinasabi namin, bakit hindi pa high speed yung ginamit pa puntang Bicol, or eto is an example, almost 1 trillion na ang budget ng uh, DPWH. So, ano ang K, o ano ang karapatan ng Senado na magtanong kung yung sariling naming building, maraming tanong. Diba? So, hindi namin sinasabi na may anomalya sa subway, hindi namin sinasabi na may anomalya sa mga bagong airport, hindi namin sinasabing may anomalya sa almost 1 trillion. Pero paano naman sa, namin sasabihin, may delay to, mabagal to, yung plano nito, hindi maganda? Kung yung sarili namin building at sarili namin mga empleyado, let's all remember ha, the senators are only 24. At, at, at uh, 23 na lang dahil sekretary na ng uh, DepEd yung isa. No? But we... And that's a good example. We are temporary, di ba? Yung opisina, mga opisina namin dito, the section pababa, yung person is temporary, pero yung office nila is permanente. So, kung dalawang libo ang gagamit ng building na to, eh, point ilan percent yon yung 24 na yon. Uh, kahit sabihin mo ilan floor kami at mas malaki opisina namin, ang pinag-uusapan po natin dito, yung mga empleyado ng, ng Senado. So pag sinabi nung, nung mga empleyado, Sir, hindi kami tinanong, Sir, maliit opisina namin, Sir, akala ba namin apat na pala pag paglipat on, bakit ganon? Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin magulo mga senador eh. Dati nang magulo mga senador eh. Wala naman nagsasabi, 24 kami, pare-pareho kaming may idea. Diba? Ba't katulad ni Senator Padilla, huwag niyo naman sabihin magulo, ang tinanong lang niya, may prayer room ba yan? Ay kung katulad dito po, nagre-renta lang tayo, may chapel tayo. Siguro naman courtesy lang natin sa mga kapatid natin Muslim na meron prayer room. Hindi naman siguro gulo yun. Pero siyempre, itatanong namin yun. Kung hindi pa tayo nagkaroon ng senador na Muslim, hindi wala pang magsasabi na kaila, wala pang makakapag-isip, wala bang Muslim sa DPWH, wala bang Muslim sa mga designer natin and everything, di ba? Kasi, or si Senator Pia, titignan niya yan kung meron lugar yan for breastfeeding. O hindi naman kailangan na lahat tayo maging nanay o nagbe-breastfeeding para malaman ito. Because this is billions of pesos. Next slide. So, what we want to do at the end of these hearings, I hope to only have two or three. Hiniwalay ko para hindi magulo at hindi magturuan. So, wala dito yung Senate coordinating team except for, uh, I think, uh, ASEC Mulano, when you retired, you joined the Senate team. Tama ba? Oh, so except for you, pero you're here for as the uh, as to testify ko ano yung mga nangyari before, di ba? When you were still assistant secretary. So except for you, wala dito yung SCT uh, and then wala rin po dito yung contractor. Para nga hindi magturuan para we can get the story, narrative ang importante sa akin sa araw na to. Next slide. So what the public wants to know is kailan ang completion date? Ano yung plano at magkano yung cost? So so far, as far as I'm concerned, sa maikling period that I'm chairman of chairperson of the committee on accounts, ang nakita ko moving target pa itong lahat. No? Meaning, wala pa ako nakikita na nagsasabi sa akin, sure po, sure, ito yung presyo, sure po, ito yung date, sure po, ito yung plano. You can dispute that in your presentation. Next slide. So, saan ba nag-umpisa to? Ito po ay uh, part ng transcript po to. At dito, Senator Subiri, he wasn't Senate President yet, can ask was asking how much 4.5B ang sinabi which is 50,000 per square uh, which is more or less okay natakbuan nung time na yon. medyo medium or medium high end pero okay na yan at that time no? and then I think when AECOM bid it out ano ba yung amount na binigay nila 4.5 or 5.5 it was oh, 4.5 yung concept pa lang yun so wala pang uh, engineering architectural plans but just to show you Ikaw man maging si Senator uh, Escudero at bago kang Senate President at nakita mo from 4.5 to 23B. Again, if you're disputing 23B, pag-usapan natin mamaya. Siyempre, sasabihin mo lang naman na sandali lang, tignan lang natin. ba? Again, walang nagsabing may anomalya, walang nagsabing an ang sinabi, tignan lang natin. Next slide. Okay. Ito po yung nireport sa akin. Ang nag-report po sa akin nito, galing din po sa staff ni Senator Lacson at galing din sa, sa staff ni Senator Nancy. Okay? Dito sa SCT din, sa Senate Coordinating Team. So, kung nagtatanong si Senator Nancy, and of course, she's most welcome to attend, saan nanggaling ang figures ni Senate President at ni Alang Cayetano, nanggaling sa staff mo, dahil sinunod ko yung advice mo at advice ni Senator Lacson na wag palitan yung mga namamahala at sila ang nakakaalam. So, nandun pa lang ako sa review eh. Nagre-review, sila nag-submit sa akin nito. Okay, next slide. 
Yeah. Yan. So let's proceed to the presentation but before that kung may opening statement lang si Majority Leader muna and then ang ating uh, Senator uh, Padilla then I'll give uh, DP Bridge all the time you need no. So yung question. Mr. Chairman, I, I don't have any formal opening statement but we appreciate the presence of the resource persons here. I yield my time to the honorable chairman. Thank you. Thank you Senator. Agal uh, Uh, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin Assalamualaikum uh, Magandang uh, tanghali po Ako po'y uh, nagpapasalamat Sa amin pong uh, matatawag na Ako Teacher ko din to Si Senator Alan Peter Caetano na Matagal po na pong uh, Idolo uh, Nagpapasalamat po ako sa kanya Sa pagdinig nito Sapagkat Ako naman po eh Gusto ko lang May maisagot Unang-una Sa aking pamilya Dahil ang unang Dumadaan din ako sa pagdinig eh, sa bahay namin, tinatanong sa akin tungkol dito. Hindi ko alam kung ano isasagot ko. Eh kung sa bahay namin, hindi ko alam kung ano isasagot ko, paano pa sa taong bayan? Kaya sana po, gusto ko lang malinawan yung patungkol dito dahil uh, sa isang sinador po na bago, bagong dating. Kailangan yung mga ganitong bagay at hawak ko pa yung uh, public information, committee sa public information, katulad po ng sinabi ng idol ko, Senator Alan Peter Caetano, eh dapat po alam ng taong bayan ang tungkol dito. Uh, yun lamang po. Maraming salamat po, uh, uh, Senator Alan. Thank you very much, uh, Senator Padilla. At kami, natututo din sa mga tinuturo mo at sa sipag na ginagawa mo sa Senate. We learn from each other. Uh, Yusek and sa DPWH family, as you're presenting, I made guide questions. Kung masagot nyo na, the good. Kung balikan natin mamaya. But basahin ko na para yung staff nyo uh, medyo prino-proseso na to, no? So, I think may slides para makita din la. First, The original cost of the building as determined by DAED plans. No? Uh, dun sa publiko na nakikinig, DAED is Detailed Architectural and Engineering uh, Design. No? Or, or others call it a construction set. Di ba? Second, how much has been paid to date? Third, how much is pending evaluation? Meaning variation orders, phase three or whatever. Hanggang pang ilan phase ba yan? So what, what is being evaluated now and by who? Fourth, what is the cost of works to complete the building in addition to the DAED cost? Fifth, what is the original construction duration for the approval of DAED to complete the building? Sixth, how many days are we delayed from the original timeline? No need to cite the reasons why. Let's just start out, ilang days na yung delay. What is the status of the R DAED? R DAED, if I'm not mistaken, is the revised DAED. What is the cost of such delay in terms of EOT charges? EOT is extension of time. What is the process in which the design revisions are died, are developed and approved? And what is the total percentage of completion of the whole building to date? Narinig namin sa media, um, I think was it was it you, Ma'am Solidad, na 77% of phase phase one. So, but of the total, ano nam percent? But feel free to explain kung hindi may ma percentage later on. Lastly, you sex din, I understand dalawa yung role ng DPWH dito, implementing agency at saka project manager. So if you wanted to to pass to any of the project managers etc, uh, I leave it up to you. So present in any way na comfortable kayong uh, mga taga DPWH. Thank you. Sir, you have the floor. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The Honorable um, Senate Majority Leader, Senator Talentino, Talentino. Of course, of course, the Honorable Senator Alan Peter Cayetano, the Chairman Committee on Accounts, of course, uh, Senator Robin Padilla, my idols <laughs> for Mindanao. Again, uh, my colleagues in the Department of Public Works and Highways uh, and other members of the Senate, good afternoon po sa atin ulit, will be giving, Mr. Chair, the construction of the Senate building uh, updates. Um, can we start the slideshow? The new Senate building project. Located at the Navy Village, Fort Bonifacio, passing Tamo Extension, Taguig City. The project has a lot area of 18,320 square meters, building footprint of 13,750 square meters, and total floor area of 131,570 square meters. This project covers the design and construction of the new Senate building. The building is composed of three-level basement parking and four towers of 11 stories each to be built with a combination of reinforced concrete and structural steel frame. The building structure is designed to be the last building standing with an importance factor of 1.5, similarly applied to other lifeline structures such as bridges and ports. It features an iconic architectural design, modern security features, up-to-date audio-visual systems, green materials and equipment, 24-hour standby fuel reserve, building management system, and etc. 
The construction of the new Senate building will realize the institution's longtime vision of having its permanent home dubbed as Bagong Senado Seika Loing Siglo. Truly a landmark edifice that is green, secure, functional, and iconic. First of its kind in terms of scale and design, with modern features and facilities befitting the institution it represents. Notable is the building's design of openness at the ground floor landscape to public access, symbolizing the institution's readiness to hear the people's grievances and to act upon promptly. As of June 25, 2024, the actual accomplishment of the new Senate building project is 77.7292%, with a positive slippage of 0.3399% for Phase 1, while the accomplishment for Phase 2 is 19.0678%, with a positive slippage of 0.1172%. Mr. Chair, we have here two ongoing phases of construction, the phase one, which covered the current shell, uh, amounting to 8.6 billion pesos, to includes the variation orders, and the phase two, which is actually 2.3 billion for the pit out of the projects. There's still a phase three, Mr. Chair, to cover the other pit out and the project to complete. So there, there are actually phase one, two, and three, but right now we are implementing phase one and phase two. Phase one has already attained a 77.38% accomplishment, while phase two is about 18.95% accomplishment. It can be recalled, Mr. Chair, in 2018, the Senate and the BCDA launched a global conceptual design competition for the new home of the Philippine Senate on February 14, 2018. In order to gather technically competent firms to come up with conceptual design for the Senate that is green, secure, functional, and iconic, and would represent its dignity as an independent institution as well as the values of democratic legislature. In the uh, Reso 110 issued by the Senate, it uh, actually identified the ICOM as the winner of the Global Conceptual Design Competition, which was actually identified for the uh, conceptual design submissions of these uh, projects. Next slide. There were five participants concept designers that submitted the conceptual design, including the building specifications and initial cost hereby estimates. Call this, uh, hereby, call, hereby call this uh, public hearing review to order. Public hearing review to order. Uh, Assalamualaikum sa ating mga kapatid na Muslim. Uh, Assalamualaikum. Okay, na. Yeah, we will buy new technical equipment for the new building. Don't worry. Pasensya na po kayo sa mga problema sa technical. Okay. So, ICOM was declared as a winning conceptual designer for the Global Conceptual Design Competitions by the Senate through Senate Review Resolution Number 10. Uh, Assalamualaikum sa ating mga kapatid na uh, Assalamualaikum sa ating mga kapatid na Muslim. Let's uh, lahat naman tayo naniniwala sa Diyos. Let's Assalamualaikum uh, sa ating mga kapatid na Muslim. Let's uh, lahat naman tayo naniniwala sa Diyos. Senate on May 28, 2018. With this, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, the Senate sought the help of DPWS a support in the procurement, processing, review and approval of the conceptual plans and diet construction management implementations of the project. It was through this initiative, Mr. Chair, in September when a memorandum of agreement was entered by the Department of Public Works and Highways and the Senate to come up with this uh, arrangement. And for this, the preparatory budgetary cost estimate was based on the approved concept design and proposed initial cost estimate from the ICOM for considerations of the Senate. Through this, uh, Mr. Chair, the issuance of the multi-year obligation authority with instructions to proceed with the procurement was issued by the Senate. And Senate provided also emphasis on the project timeline, taking note that the pace-by-pace -pace delivery of the session hall and its of the towers must be recognized. This was through letter November 10, 2018. With this, Mr. Chair, uh, the pre-procurement activities was prepared by DPWH with the participating contractors called upon to submit financial and technical bid, including the preliminary architectural engineering design or the PAED, based on the conceptual design prepared by the ACOM. And with this procurement proceeded with the bids and award committee, of course, with the Senate representative from the technical working group, 